Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Come on in, have a seat, relax, and enjoy. I hope you're doing amazingly. We're trying out something completely new. We're not gonna have a background on my face recording, so hopefully it works out, fingers crossed. New green screen, testing everything out. All that's to come on my other channel, How To Do YouTube. Got a green screen, set it all up. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Today, we're gonna be playing the best customizations for the Mosin on Kaboom. I know it was awkwardly worded. I don't know. Okay, so currently we have the daily reward of $4,500, which is absolutely amazing. Getting some money for the remaining customizations. We still have a couple of weapons to modify and then we'll be completely done. We'll have all the weapons bought and modified and then we're gonna move on to nice. so all that is to come. So let's get right into looking at the Mosin. The Mosin, as you guys know, is categorized as a sniper rifle, but one interesting thing that the Mosin has is it doesn't have a sight. You can put a time for a sight on here, but you can use hip fire as well, and that makes the Mosin absolutely incredible. You could get headshots and get one hit kills, and then you could just use hip fire at closer distances, and you could still get kills that way as well. So let's get right into looking at the Mosin. The Mosin fully modified has the specs of 64 damage, accuracy of 290 which is absolutely amazing damn near perfect i believe it's like 96 percent accurate it has a fire rate of 0 0.6 holder of eight rounds and total ammo of 30 so pretty nice specs there damage could be a little bit higher to get those one hit kills but against people who are wearing no armor and who are wearing the special armor you could definitely get those one hit kills without any problem Let's look at the customizations of this weapon. This weapon has a total of three skins. We have our camo, we have our legendary, and then we have our rare. I don't know why it's placed like that. Shouldn't the rare be before the legendary, so the legendary is the final skin, but it's not that way, and the legendary looks absolutely crazy. A lot of color combinations, which I really like. Moving on over to sights, the best sight without any question for this weapon has to be the Time Force sight. Absolutely amazing. You could use this weapon as a sniper rifle and as a regular like hip fire weapon which is absolutely phenomenal no other sniper rifle has this option so time for sight definitely the way to go if you get your hands on it if not you could obviously use those level lower level cheaper uh sites i know legendary sites can be expensive and uh difficult to get Moving over to size, the best, or moving over to trunks, the best trunk for this weapon has to be the silencer. Without any trunk customization equipped, this weapon has a damage of 54, and when you equip the trunk, it increases by 10, taking it to 64, but the accuracy does come down by one point, which is nothing at all. You shouldn't even notice it in the game. Moving over to lights and lasers, definitely, definitely equip the flashlight on this weapon. It helps out with the damage a little bit, and that definitely helps to get those one hit headshots, uh, one hit kills, and you should have no problem doing that. If you have the flashlight on, it helps out a little bit, and that little bit really does matter for this gun. Moving over to clips, this weapon doesn't have an option for clips because this weapon doesn't have a clip. It's a bolt action weapon, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, it looks like it's a bolt action weapon, and uh, you don't have a clip on there. You reload one round at a time or uh, by pulling the bolt back and back, fo back forward. That's why this weapon is a little bit slow. Moving over to keychains, obviously equipped with every keychain you like. Keychains really don't matter. They just look good on the weapon. And I personally have the YouTube keychain on my Mosin, which looks absolutely bad. Fantastic. And then if you want to throw a counter on there, if you have a counter on there, that is a fully modified Mosin and it will look fantastic. So enough talking about this weapon. Let's take it into a game. Let's see how it performs. Let's see if we like it. We can't not equip it. So let's go ahead and equip it. I, I wouldn't want to forget that. Then it would be a mess. I would have to pause the videos and all that crazy stuff. So let's see what is in the news right now. Looks like we got some new news. Got hide from zombie gameplay. That's interesting. And then look at it. It says the best YouTube channel with Kaboom Guys shocking tips. Press to watch now. Absolutely amazing. I'm so grateful to the Kaboom creators for 
saying that and for allowing me the opportunity to present the guns and the best customizations for them. So let's get right into a game. Let's see how this weapon performs. I actually really, really like the Mosin. On my live streams, on usually on Saturday or Sunday, uh, I love to do Mosin challenges. So those are absolutely amazing. Uh, we come together, we do a lot of noob weapon gameplay, and we really see which players are good, which ones aren't, and we have a lot, a lot of fun. Obviously, if it's not a big deal if you're not amazing with the Mosin. I suck with a lot of the weapons as well, um, but Mosin is not one of them, as you will see shortly. I've hyped myself up quite a bit, so hopefully I don't do too terribly here, but let's test it out. So as you guys could see, graphics are looking absolutely amazingly. I believe I put have my game on high graphics, um, but it's looking amazing. If it does lag a little bit, my battery is below 15%, as you guys could see, um, which might be a bit problematic. I need to... Um, I need to put my brightness higher up when I, whenever I do this. All right, let's go ahead and die really quickly because um, I'm trying to move over to the Muzin. I accidentally swapped back over to the Negev, which I got a silencer on now. Or I don't have, do I have a silencer on it? Nope, no silencer on it yet. But yeah, the Negev is definitely one of the next weapons I'm going to buy and modify. It's an absolutely amazing weapon in survival mode. Really, really fun to use and quite strong when fully modified as well. Amazingly large uh, magazine, which makes this weapon an uh, absolute uh, powerhouse. So as you guys can see, this is not a Negev review. So let's walk into the mine. And yeah, who walks into the mine on their own? I do. <laughs> but... Let's swap back over to the Mosin, try to get a couple kills with that. Also, if you are looking to buy or modify a certain weapon uh, and you're not sure if you should buy it, you're not sure if you should spend all that money on it, definitely go check out my playlist. I have reviews of all the weapons in Kaboom and I have best customizations for a lot of them as well. So definitely check that out. Get a second opinion on whether you should buy or modify a specific type of weapon. It should really help you out a lot. Now I'll stop talking to you guys. Focus in because I'm doing absolutely terribly. Two deaths with the Mosin. No kills with this weapon yet. So swapped over. As you guys can see, YouTube keychain looks fantabulous on here. I saw somebody go in here. Oh, come on. SVD kill fully modified. I also love the SVD. So a review for that or best customization for that coming really soon as well. Ba, 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 ba. All right, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Ah, we missed. That's not good. Ah. Okay, I think I may have just jinxed myself by saying I was good with this weapon. I'm doing terribly with this weapon right now. Four deaths. Four. Four guys. I know my hair is looking crazy right now though. I need to get a haircut soon. But I'm not sure if I want to because I kind of like my long hair at times and then at other, at other times I'm like, what the heck is this hair? Why do I even have it? Alright, three shots to the body right there. Um, took quite a minute to get the kill, but as you guys can see, that was absolutely crazy. I got a little bit of assist there. I don't know where the other shot came from, but it threw him to the side. So I'm assuming it came from the right side. Oh, 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 damn it. The Muslim is a bit slow, so if you do miss, you might not have the opportunity to recover if somebody else has a assault weapon. But yeah, guys, that was the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you like this type of content in general, hit that subscribe button as well as the post notification bell. Yes, this is the post notification bell. But other than that, I will let you go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.